We need to talk about dividends. Really, we do. The notion that receiving too much income from companies might seem strange in a world of ultra-low interest rates. Yet for UK-listed natural resource companies, the imperative to deliver shareholders their yield is a big problem. In general, dividends come out of a company's cash flow once the finance director has figured out how much she needs to spend on investment. As commodity prices have tumbled, the free cash flow available for many of these commodity producers is now less than the amount going out for dividends. Q sales of mines and oil fields and more debt just to pay off shareholders. The miners, at least, have seen the light. Several of the largest, such as Glencore, Vale, and Anglo-American, decided last year to cut their payouts to preserve cash flow. If metal prices do stop falling this year, a big if, these actions could well stabilize the increasingly precarious financial positions of the miners. So, good for their long-term health, then, and bad for the unblinking, impassive shareholder who just wants his money. Over the past five years, mining and energy companies have provided 27% of total dividends for the FTSE 100, according to Henderson's global income team. And that is a lot. As a comparison, the U.S. figure was a third of that amount. UK-listed miners accounted for about 9% of this FTSE sum, and, and their contribution will, in fact, fall in the year ahead. Yet, what about the silent Goliaths in the other corner, who keep shaking their heads when approached about the subject? A fifth of FTSE dividends will come from these oil and gas companies, really just Royal Dutch, Shell, and, and BP. Indeed, that rose a bit last year for UK shareholders, helped by the fact that the two pay in US dollars, and the dollar went up a bit. In two of the last three years, both of these super majors have had to sell assets to help pay for dividends. That can't continue forever. In the past week, two US oil companies, Conoco and Anadarko, have slashed their own payouts. Now look, dividend yields for Shell and BP are 8%. They're at historical highs. It would seem that the market does want to talk about dividend cuts. 